I have my beautiful, lovely N64 controllers. So this is my old one. It's still actually really cute, but the buttons are kind of smushed. So I remade it and this one is absolutely adorable. I wear it out all the time and people always comment on, or comment on it. And the buttons are a lot better and just the whole overall design is a lot better and it's smaller, so. My two GameCube controllers. So this is my old one and although it's really cute and tiny, well not so much cute but it's tiny, the cord broke off by the way. Um, just the detail is absolutely horrendous and if you were to wear this out in public nobody would know what it is so I remade it and I made it a little bit bigger so that I could give it more detail and this is just absolutely fabulous this is one of my favorite charms ever um, the detail is just so perfect it's so clean except for that little spot right there and I just absolutely love it it's so adorable I have my two Fisher Price donut toys. This one is just a sad excuse for anything. I lost the two other donut rings, so this is all I have to show you. But um, none of the rings like even fit. Like they're really hard to get off, and it doesn't have an eye pin, which is kind of disappointing. So, although I don't really know anyone who would want to wear this, but um, it's still a really cute idea. And then this is my newest one. Um, all the rings are glazed and they actually all fit really nicely and it has an eye pin so so this is my first one scary disgusting creepy yeah I'm just gonna put that back down and this is my newer one. I did make this about a year ago, but in a few months from this one to this one, I made these only like two months apart, so you can really, really see the difference in just a few months. Um, I love this one, although it's kind of big, but it's still really cute. I have my two tails. So here's my first one that I made only a month after working with polymer clay. And it's really heavy, and the balloon is really weird. And it's just weird. <laughs> and it's really dirty. You can't really tell on camera, but yeah. And then this is my newer one that I made probably two months ago. And I got inspiration from Fimo 2. Oh, the bag's like really dirty though. I never noticed that. Ugh. Okay, maybe that's not much of an improvement, but still, I mean, it's better than that one, so my two ketchup bottles so this was my first attempt at ketchup probably like two weeks after I started working with polymer clay and um, this is when I figured out that red clay stain stains your hands because I made this little white part down here and it was like pink so I had to paint white over it and then I painted a face underneath and it looked horrible so I painted it white again and it's just it's just horrible and the face that ended up being on it is still bad, so whatever. <laughs> and then this one's super tiny and it's really bright and cute. And the face is adorable. I love it. I have my two Pringle cans. Ooh, so this is my old one and it's like really sticky. And the white is uneven down here. And um, it's not functional or anything. And there's hairs all over it. <clears throat> and I'm sorry my voice is cutting out again and this is my newer one I am absolutely in love with this this was my own idea actually and the lid comes off and then all the little chips come out so there's more in there but they're stuck right now so yeah they're stuck down in there but it's functional and it's really cute and I love how I wrote Pringles I wrote that in paint and I'm like really really bad with paint so but um, I just store this in a little baggie I don't want to store it with all of my other charms because I'm afraid the chips will fall out and get lost so and then I have two Kit Kat bars so this is my old one and this is my new one and I got inspiration to make the Kit Kat like this from a Riemann. And finally, I have two donuts. 
So this one I made probably a few months after working with polymer clay and um, it just looks horrible. It's like really plain and I just stacked a bunch of strawberries on it and it just looks bad. <laughs> and then this one I made probably a few weeks ago and it has two little tiny canes on there that were handmade by me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not that talented. And um, I shaded it and put some scribbles and micro marbles on it to make it look not so plain. And it's really cute. I love it.